Hi, I just wanted to show you something I'm working on today with um, one of my clients. It's a directory of sort of areas where the, that they service. Now, uh, it has to be a bilingual directory, and they gave me um, a bunch of locations to, to work on. So uh, I discovered that I can use a import plugin, WP All Import, has a function with WPML to do a bilingual import into my custom post type. Now, with WPML, I find that Toolset is a good tool to use for creating custom post types because it also has, if you purchase the premium version, a views included, which you can also display the posts, the post type information in different ways on the website. Now, basically, today all I did or was just to create the functioning of this. So. Uh, I created a, a custom post type using types, WP types called area served with a few different uh, fields to fill in. Basically, it's just like the names of the, the locations and the service provided. Now, to do it bilingually, I followed the instructions on WPML to use with the all import, WP all import plugin, and it seems to work very good. So the things you need to get started are, of course, the WP uh, All Import plugin. It's about uh, it's about 100 bucks for the premium version because I'm using custom post types, not just a regular post type. So that's what's in the premium version is, is so you can use custom post types. Uh, WPML plugin, which is another hundred dollars, I guess, <laughs> or so, or actually, no, I think it's much cheaper than that, but um, about thirty-nine dollars, and their add-on for WP All Import. Now, they suggest that you create two CSV files. I have two languages on my website, uh, English version and a French version. Uh, so I've created two CSV files, English and uh, a French. Now, Pretty much all the information is the same, just the service sort of changes um, the names. I'm not sure exactly the client might be adding other things to this, so I think it might be easier for for them just to have a to update all the information on a CSV file or an Excel sheet as opposed to trying to go in one by one for all these uh, locations. So I have these saved away. Now it's a CSV file, not an Excel file. That's what we use for the uh, WP All Import. Uh, and tool sets is actually made by the same company as WPML. So um, just on my local host, I did a test and it seems to work. Like here's the English version and when I imported the French version, it made a one-to-one -one translation, which probably isn't 100% necessary for this directory, but it's kind of nice to have that one-to-one translation going so it seems to work very well so I'll, I'll keep using it um, so here on the client site I don't have any uh, of the areas imported yet so if we go down here like I have the WPML plugin the all import and the tool set so I'm just gonna go through and do the steps to do the import so uh, start off with the new import Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm on the English side here. It probably doesn't make a difference, but I just want to make sure I start off on my default language, which is English. So I'm going to upload the CSV file from my messy desktop here. Uh, English, here it is, open. And where I'm going to import it, not into post, but into the custom post type called area served. And now I'll go off to step two. And we basically have what is on my CSV file here, the titles like Google Map, the MRC, the, the town and the service, as well as a connector, which is very important. They mentioned to do a one-to-one -one column that just has a number. So number one is my English one, and I have a French version with a connector as well, uh, which is the exact same 
well, it's going to be the exact same post, uh, sort of one to one. So this is how it matches up with the translation is through this this connector uh, column here. So make sure you have that on there. So you can see here connector one. And if we go along here, this is the second entry, connector two, etc. So uh, I'm just going to go on to step three because it seems to like how it's set up here. Okay, and you have to drag and drop your fields over to here to sort of set them up. So this is going to be the title for each post, which is basically just the town, which is Ville. It's kind of funky sometimes to grab these little things, but uh, I'm not using the um, oh, editor at all. So I'm actually going to use down here a bit the custom fields but I won't get to that quite yet because there's just before that is the WPML all import and this is the first language I'm doing which is English I'm going to make sure I choose choose English as the default so I can close that and then come to my custom fields um, there are custom fields present but it, it doesn't seem to read them so you have to add them by I guess hand <laughs> yeah I think I put some of them here. Oh, I might have closed it down. Oh no, there we go. So now my custom fields are located in my uh, like area serve. So if I actually, I'll just open on my local host here what I have. So I have these custom fields. Now this is the location, the municipality, MRC. You, you kind of need to know what the the post type uh, specific metadata is. So this isn't, anyway, I'm just going to do it here just because not instead of going into the post type, but it's inside the, uh, the exact one that we need is inside here. So it's called WPCF municipality location. So that's for the municipality location. So I'll put that there. They all actually start with WPCF for this. So, and I have four fields. So I'm just gonna copy these down here since I kind of know what they are. And the, the second one's just the municipality and it's all lowercase. Even though it's uppercase here, it turns to lowercase here. So, um, RC and the last one is service offered. I just want to make sure I get it right. There's a better way of doing this. If you just go into the custom post type down here, you can see that as well. The only thing with the custom post type is just missing the WPCF at the beginning. So you have to remember to add this. When you see the slug in the custom post type, it's just the, the second half here. So you'd have to remember to add the first part. Okay. And now I got to drag the value. So my Google map value is the location. My MRC is over here, the MRC value. The town is the municipality and the service. So that is good for that. And I'm going to save these as a template. Just call it uh, my directory template. So I don't have to do this again for the French one. Continue to step four, just so it remembers this little part here. Okay, so a unique identifier, that's my connector. Drag it over here, please. There we go. And the rest, I just leave the same in the advanced options. There's not much there, so I'll just continue. And then we're ready to import these uh, posts, these custom posts. So we're going to just run it. So that's going to take my CSV file, verify all my settings there with the uh, custom fields and match them up on my, my CSV file. Now I noticed when saving from Excel to a CSV it has to be like a Windows comma eliminated. Well, it doesn't have to be, but if you're using accents, like 
French accents. Uh, if you use Windows uh, CSV, yeah, it works a lot better. The other ones don't seem to translate and you get weird characters, sort of like HTML entities instead of the actual um, accents. So like it says, just let it complete. So there we go. So we're just going to take a quick look under area served here and just see that all the items were imported properly. So there's the list of all my places. And if I just click on the first one here, uh, you can see that all the location is filled in with the proper accents, not messed up. And um, that's for the English one. So let's go back and do, go back to all import and do a new import. And we're going to match this translation up uh, with it so that uh, they all match together. So we're going to upload a file and I'm going to go get the French version of that. Now the client just gave me a Word document with these places. So I noticed some of them weren't spelled 100% right, but uh, I tried to correct as many as I can. So we, he, they may have to go back and redo this again if there's spelling mistakes or if there's things they want to add. So we're going to create a new area served. We're kind of like rerunning this, but we're doing the French version. Okay, so continue. We still have our connector there as well. Okay, I'm just going to use the load template directory since I already created it. So it should fill in some of these things for me, like the town is the same. WP all import, we're going to do French this time. And we have to click on this automatic matching. So what we have to do is tell it what column over here to connect to, to match. So let's define our our parent import is our original language, which was the English. This was the original one. And the unique identifier found on this one is called connector. And it has, this is what it looks like. So it's going to go in, look at the English one, find the connector and match it up with the French one for us. So that's, that's the most important thing here. When we're, where the difference is, when we click on the other language, we have to do this connector thing. And the custom field should be set because I saved a template. So they all look good to me and uh, continue to step four. Oops, no, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna probably save over that directory template, but. Uh, and here as well, unique identifier, just connector one. And we're gonna continue. And confirm and run import. So it's, since I'm just setting this system up for the client, I really like having it as set up as a CSV. So when they do come back with changes, we can just do it all in these few steps and have it, uh, have everything corrected. Okay, so if we go to the area served again, all items, You'll see now that the actual French translation is there. So there's the English one, and then we can click on here and see the French version. So, and they're all matched up with the French, uh, French there. That's only, everything else is actually, actually the same, except for this service offer. I'm sure they're gonna have other services. So in any case, it's just, uh, I found this is gonna be easier for the future, sort of future-proofing this a bit. Um, so there we go. Now all we need to do is kind of, well, actually we'll just click on this. This is what, let's take a look and see what it looks like, the post. So I created this template inside of um, uh, WP view or content template. And then for, for this particular um, custom post type. So we just have the title, which is the name of the town, the province, the region, the service is here, and sort of the location on uh, Google Map. 
So and the other things I put in as well. So let's see if I click over to English. Yeah. So I've I've translated all these previously. So this is basically the directory. Um, this is going to take us back to the service area, and all these towns are located inside this area. So I'm going to put a little, just a little directory under here, just the list of all the. Let's see if we can edit this page. Now it's using the Enfold theme, so it's a bit strange because it's a, a builder. Um, it's the best way to do this because it's a, well, I know, I'll just copy this code block and I'll come over here, ready the test, and grab the code. should be the same. So this code block is just a, a filter that I set up through um, well, a view, they call it, uh, but it's basically just filtering everything in, in alphabetical order, so I don't need that. That's the map thing. Just save it. Update. And I can filter these better later, but I just wanted to get it functioning first of all. So we should have a list at the bottom here. Yeah. So this is just the list of the, the posts. So if I click on the first one, it takes me to the, the single version of that post. Oops. So there we go. And spelt wrong. <laughs> That's one of the, in the sheets, it wasn't spelled correctly. Let's see if it's spelled correctly in French. Yeah. It's Abercorn. Anyway, that was not me. <laughs> that was what I was given. But I'll go in and uh, change that right now. There was a whole bunch of spelling mistakes, and I just sort of gave up after a while with what the supply text was. Abercorn. Uh, save that. Uh, it's quite often the case is not only programming, but correcting the content. All right, so that's all. Um, I find it a pretty efficient way to import things, and especially I really like the idea that it's all matched up with the translation. Uh, really helps along with uh, my workflow, and uh, hopefully it'll help you guys out too. So have a good day. Bye.